Hello folks, uh, in just basically showing you full screen, uh, very dramatic action on the 18th on Sechi. Now, the static I think was putting down the feeds because a lot of supercomputers weren't, you know, I, I, I got blocked from not access, I didn't get or down or anything like that, but there's a lot of feeds that weren't operating and I think they were either safeguarded or did have some static. And more than likely from this, these that CME that I told you guys about that it was going to hit Earth. So, anyway, dramatic footage from space, and we're going to blow this up a little bit. So, hang on a second. So, it's astounding footage. We're going to some more facts about the supergiants and the brightness that's out there and why that is so vast. And people that are biblical, I got a lot of religious people that get into the site too. I'm not a total atheist. I'm a scientific data, actual factual person. Okay, plus I'm also a little bit of religion, okay? Actually a lot. So uh but I don't Bible beat on people. Okay. So now anyway, the actual factual <clears throat> of the Bible, you know, in the through history, because basically the Bible is a history. <coughs> Everything that human beings write is somewhat convoluted. Okay. So in the past, history of the Bible and so forth, or, or from fables or whatever you want to call it, told certain female don't look at the bright and they turned around and they looked and then they got blinded. Now, whether it was a volcano or whether it was when they were volcano action, we all know about the, the, uh, egg. there's a city that got engulfed in a volcano and like everybody got fried and the bodies are there and the houses, the lava, and everything like that. It's history. It's there. It's out there. You can go research it. I'm not going to say the name of it. Uh, so, we're looking at this footage from space, and you can see the mass of brightness that gets flashed. So we're going to slow this down and take a look and, and surmise it. And you're seeing a static, more than likely Venus or Jupiter, which is close to the sun, is doing that reactive CME from the static electricity that comes off the huge CME. And now I'm starting to see more of what the actual factual from the 18th and the 19th that, yeah, that could be a uh, at least it's I believe when we're looking at A ahead or B the actual factual well that is scary because I did that we would be off here to the left but I think we'd be lower than worth that big flammo going up there but then again maybe this is actually the CME that Earth got the static electricity uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, I figured this looking, I, I just don't waste my time looking back at the old data too much. But uh, let's slow this down. You know, I did it a little bit even slower. So I'm going to slow it way down. I'm going to go even slower so we can see how long it took for that. All right, I'm going to go one more. So when it comes around, we're looking at, remember, it's military time, so those are hours going by. Nine, ten, eleven. Here it comes again. Let's slow it down even more. 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 9, 10, 11. So we almost three hours of that mass of brightness there. Okay? And I'll get it even slower. I should have waited until we got to the hour of the boat. But, and then maybe we can freeze and blow up and get... So that was actually happening out there in space, folks. Okay? Something got in front of the sun. Okay? Something huge. Now, is it the meatball? What's going on? Okay? And then I'm also on a freeze and look at that, uh, yeah, that flash there. We should be able to, yeah, I should be able to pause that. Now, I got to watch it as we come around. Let me cue this up. And get that shot blown up. Okay. So I froze this, and you can see that I believe the CME of the planet that we were seeing that reacting and doing that. So 
Now, at some point in time, there is a big, I mean, it almost looks like a video player's uh, play button, you know what I'm saying? But a big triangle, a big triangle of something got in front of the sun. And this is from ahead. Okay, so now, this is on the screen is what I froze, so I'm going to try to... Uh, what I'm trying to try to do is get that window froze that they had there. Okay, so hang on a minute. So what I'm trying to do is see what happened, and uh, I'm sure it was some kind of a static that they ended up on their feed, <coughs> or it's something that when they were doing the overlays, just got inserted there. But the actual factual is I will go in reverse here. I think I'm going in reverse. No, I'm going forward. No, I'm going backwards like I thought. Now, we're going to go backwards. And you see that big... Now, if anything, that's what that was on that camera shot, was a uh, that big V, that diamond, I mean, somewhat of a diamond. I mean, triangle. Sorry, folks. CME that came off kind of basically gave the camera a uh, a camera flare, okay? But the actual factual that this, some gigantic Thompson, made the sun pretty much blinky to the left like that because, bam, you got that, okay? So there was dramatic brightness at this hour around the world and around space from the sun and the supergiants because something major made it go dark, okay? As we know, that's the light is the light in this shot, and darkness is darkness. So, that happened, okay? And then they got that, that big CME, because this comes off. So, whatever did the blocking, because now I'm going to go forward. I'll go forward. And then bam. So something hit the sun or did, got it in front of the sun and got into its into its uh like we've been seeing it's it's got its uh and it, the scientists have been studying it for years, just showing you where we're at. So uh something majorly got in front of the sun, okay? Or got close into its into its force field, its magnetic field, because it did that, okay. And then that huge CME comes off. This all happened on the 18th. Okay, so this is the recent footage. So I'm going to see if we can find anything from the 19th. And also just see how much fresher we get. And then I'll also take a look at the 17th and so forth and too. I try to remember what the... I have to look at my video and see what the last footage I did actually get. So since that footage was so dramatic, I figured we better take a look at B on the back side. So you'd have to go figure out what was uh, planet that was behind on B, and I think it was either Jupiter or Venus. I'll check it out. If we get Wolfie to work. And uh, so this was the action. <coughs> and it basically pretty much shows the same thing, that there was something major league that got into the sun because pretty much the same time frame. I can slow this down. And uh, it does a glitch to the uh, camera feed from the satellite. So I'll knock this down a little slower so you can see the time. So I got it slowed down. I'll wait here for it to, there you go, at the 5 and 6 hour, 4, 5 and 6 hour. So you got to match that up with what was going on on A from the other side. Let's go, because the mass of distances that uh, A and B are apart from each other, you know. They're spread out very, very far away from each other in space. They're taking those shots of the, of the sun. So I think I've got camera 8 or something like that, but I just wanted to show you how much that there is light propagation is messing up the camera feed over there because the camera normally focuses on this stuff down here pretty darn decently. Okay, So there is really a very wild something radiating a bunch of very unusual light down onto Earth in that volcano over there. 
because uh, that's what we're getting for a feed over there right now. So this is live from Japan, 1923, 100 hours their time on the 23rd because... So the sun was being pretty darn dramatic on the 17th also, moving into the 18th, okay? So currently these are the locations of the planets and so forth. So you can scroll back through this slowly, you know, freeze it. So this is from so pretty much the center of uh, of North America there. So like I say, and then the sun was in the is in the well here. It doesn't show it, but that's the sun would be directly in here. So pretty much what we are more than likely seeing is Mercury being the closest thing to the sun. And then Venus, Mars, in those, uh, in the footage that's doing the reaction, okay? So, currently, over North America, we got Venus there, and the sun's on the back side. Alright. So pretty much when we're looking at the Sechi shots, Venus and Earth is on that backside B shot. Should be in that backside B shot. And then Mercury should be what you're seeing that's actually flaring. It should be Mercury. So like on the 17th and 18th, more likely that's Mercury. And uh, either that, Venus or Jupiter. But really should be more than likely Mercury there. And then on this uh, shot here, that should be more than likely, uh, what was I saying? That, that should be Venus, I believe, there. Correct me now. I'm just joking around, but yep, that should be Venus then. So, and when I showed you that last video of the speed, solar wind speed, it was up then for that point <clears throat> in time. It was a little bit up. So, it's back down now. Uh, So there's that. Current snapshot on the 23rd, flaring away the sun. So, and very much more likely Venus and Mercury in these shots here. So Venus being the bigger one, I'm pretty sure, and Mercury being the close one. Because Mercury's smaller and it's closer to the sun. Currently 5.55 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, uh, it's starting to pick up just a tick, just a little bit, but it is still down from what we had earlier this weekend. But it is starting to pick up just a little bit. Now you can still go to the magnetosphere, but you just don't get the computerized action, okay? So you can still see what's, how we're going through space. This is our coronal, just like an eyeball, we're flying through space. Okay, so you can still get all the data, and then there's our auroral, as that's our eyeball going through space, in the northern hemisphere, and there is another shot, and this is all space weather here coming at us, our corner, so, and let me, and there you go, it should highlight it there. Alright. So it looks like on the 22nd or 23rd that uh, we get a blast right there. So we'll have to wait and see that footage. On the 23rd we'll be looking for that footage from Sechi. But that, that looks like it won't uh, right now showing on the deal that it missed Earth, Earth right there. So we'll have to see if, when we get the footage from Sechi on that. I mean, this is Pacific Ocean is pretty much the latest on what's going on in any quake. There you go in the data on that. But don't forget all this is happening here, so 